Welcome again. Today we will be taking one of these games to play and I will take you through the challenges associated with them. Not all of them, but the one that you get automatically and how to get that because it is slightly different between each one of them. Let's go through with Ace Race. So this one is all about running and it is pretty simple, but there are some rules that you need to get to know. So let's go through the race first, and then I can show you some things just to the side of it. Both literal and figuratively, um, some cave painting. There's a cave painting related to it. And there is, well, that, and there's also um, one of these challenges. So I'll show you something around here. It may not look like it, but you see these sparkles here? Stand on it. Ooh, little tinkle. Well, let me introduce to you these blocks. These are speed boosts, and you've probably seen them around the lobby. Um, if you touch this one, though, this one has a different animation, and if we step over it, it gives us jump boost. It allows us to jump and see those coins, which we can step and get 20 more coins. And it refreshes every time that you come through, so you can just keep going through and getting more coins. However, there are way more efficient approaches. And of course, you can't go without talking to this guy. Um, he will tell you all about it, but we'll leave that to me. Hello, I'm CPK, and welcome to the skies of Ace Race. Use the boosts and pads to race to the finish line. Press tutorial to learn more, or press the start game button if you're ready to play. Alright, that doesn't tell everything. Good. So let's head on through. So when, when we go past this, we will automatically start, and boom, time has started. So we have to use those speed boosts, and we also have to use these launch pads. Now there's one other that. What does that do? Bong. And sometimes it throws you into the void, so we just have to be resilient and continue on our path. Um, trying, well, you can manipulate them, and there is something, if you are wearing the red hat beanie, like the red beanie, you can press S along a wall, and it will knock you back. Make sure it is close enough, and then, like, just the closer you are, the faster it is, so that you can get that reward. And the same kind of thing goes for this, just run backwards and forwards using, I think it's the orange ocelot, and you can complete that challenge as well. Now there's none of these that I'm familiar with, um, not even the lime llama, but if you go past these, just jump. and. You'll come across these, your Elytra will get equipped. I accidentally did not trigger that, and it just lops it off whenever you touch one of those um, red pads. And so I will show you how to use the Elytra course in a moment. So, okay, here we are. So just. Hold space, like just double click it when you're in the air and then you'll start flying um, if you don't know how to use Elytra. And then you can just steer yourself around with your mouse. And then just run around, bump into things, try your best not to get confused. There was this section here um, nearby. It's right here. This is the one. And this is very dodgy because, yeah, they knock you around, knock you off the island as well, and also the way that they're designed is they think that you're going to run into it from the side so that then they can bonk you up onto that tree, but just be careful with this one because it is a bit strange and it can be helpful time to time, but Sometimes you're just going to find that you need to knock yourself forwards yet again to go, to go, yep. 
And then, last but not least, you have to use your elytra, sometimes it can cut off, and it is kind of difficult when you come across the water. And then after that, you just have some pots, and you've got some rainbow stuff that you should probably jump across the top of. And then after that, you will complete it. And then you would also complete one of the challenges. One of the challenges, sorry. Um, so if I click on challenge list, I have completed 60%, but um, you would get this one. It's just simple. You, uh, you complete the course and you get that. But what about other ones? I mean, I did tell you about those other two, about those pads. Um, but what about the um, cave painting? I was going to show you that. It does not have to do with this area. Instead, you will have to go over to the main lobby. And when you were back in the main lobby, you will have to um, go to the duck. So there is a duck next to... Um, yeah, it's better for me to show you. So let's head to the right of this, sorry, left. Um, and it is below the duck. Now, some people say that you need someone else to help you with it. However, that is not always the case. You would need to touch the pressure plate and then quickly slide into the trapdoor. Because that triggers the trapdoor. So if we go across here, puzzle stage has been completed, and then you're chucked into here. And of course, I have already completed this puzzle. I've completed all of the ones, as you can see, the lock is just on the one that has not been explained yet. I've completed all of the ones in grey. So, what you will have to do when you get through this is you'll have to do some parkour. So, after this, jump from here to here, and don't well, you can jump on the side, but do try um, to avoid touching those, because, yeah, and it took me about 160 times to try to beat this, but that was a lie. It took me three times. Um, but if we head down here, you'll see a door. How do we pass it? Just go to the side and walk around. Um, you'll have to step on this pad, jump over here, up to this one, and be careful, don't fall off. You'll have to do that again sometimes. And yeah, you have to have momentum when you do this, unless you're a very good parkourer. Which I am not myself, because I mainly do Minecraft commands and these kind of videos. So after that, just jump on over to here, and there is a bit more to do, so we'll jump over there. Oh, um, yep. Now we're over here, and we can continue on. There is more parkour, but it doesn't stop there. There is more. Step up here, up here, and we have to get up all the way. Um, to the top. And don't bang your head on that. And I need to restart. Simple mistakes sometimes, aren't they? So, there you go. And you'll be advertised with the Ender Cup. Ender Cup. Oh! <laughs> that really upsets me sometimes. Alright, I'm just gonna focus on getting this parkour done. I'm not gonna listen to the music or listen to their adverts. If I could just get past this, great. 
<sighs> Finally. Now we can head on through with the tons of ads. Now, this is the question that a lot of people have, like, that I've seen. They look down and see an end portal, but they don't know how to get here. Well, I just showed you how. What you need to do is jump here, and it's right next to Meltdown. And then you would have completed the challenge. Yep, it's a movement challenge, I know. You have to go through there and find out the passageway, which, yeah, that is how you complete the Ace Race um, cave painting. Now, there are a few other things. Also, there is Sands of Time and Meltdown, which I will show you next. Thank you for watching, and press on the next video if you are interested to continue. Goodbye. Peace.